Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine. How was your day today? Well, my, my days are so um, uh, difficult because mm -hmm. I take care of my, my children um, and I have a, a baby. Um, because um, uh, my wife uh, works, works in an office and I am unemployed and it's difficult to me. Well, but you are studying, which is good. Yeah, uh, I like, uh, I always like some, the English, but to me it's a great opportunity uh, to learn some, some, something more about this language. Okay. And congratulations, you are doing well, very well. Thank you. Okay. And uh, how old are your children? Uh, uh, my, my boy has some um, 13. My second, second daughter has um, nine. And my baby has one year. Wow. She born during the during the pandemic thing. Oof, yeah. Uh, uh, it was terrible. Terrible. Um uh, 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 it's was a uh, great surprise and I'm scared because and what what do the, the other two say about the, the baby? Excuse me? What do the others say about the baby? The other the siblings? No, just just um they yes. are happy with the baby? Oh yes. To me yes. it's a great bless bless blessing. Of blessing. course, children are a, are a blessing. And, and, all and, of them, all of them are a blessing. But but the pandemic is is difficult um, to to me to care. Uh, um, uh, it's difficult and in every in every way um, because I I had to to the supermarket I I I have to go to the drugstore and well I actually if if uh, what what I could do and what I am I am doing most of the time is that before pandemic we used to take a shower before going out. Now I prefer to take a shower when I coming home, <laughs> yeah. and I take the shower as soon as I get home and with all my clothes on. And I and I wash the clothes at the very moment that I am in the shower, so I yeah. don't bring any any bugs to to home. Always, uh, when I I get out and and when you, I I come in. Uh, uh, yes, but it is more important when you get in. When you when you coming from from outside, because uh, sure. 
yeah, said, yeah. Uh, it, it, to keep the to keep the house uh, without uh, risky. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Um, 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 then now, um, my 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 children, they are studying online and my it's difficult my, my, my time is so very short it, it, I, have, have you have you placed them in a public school or do you have it in a, in a private school no it's a private school but nowadays it's better to have in public school uh excuse me i can't can understand nowadays now in pandemic time it is better to have the children in public school because they get uh, laptops oh uh, in... yeah but it is is um to to my my children is a uh, some 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 como, how do you say um contradictory yes contradictory contradictory uh for your for her her par partners or classmates and your your friends and uh, very much things. Yeah. Well, but the thing is that they are not going to a school properly. They no. are homeschooling. So yeah. why I should pay more if they are at home? When they are getting more from public school nowadays in El Salvador than from private schools. Yeah, but but uh, they 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 want to keep your 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 part your classmates your friends. And... They can make new friends. They won't keep all the friends all their life. They have to learn yeah. to have other classmates, and they yeah. are not seeing them. They can yeah. keep in track with the other classmates as as friends in the afternoon. Mm, what? I don't know. Sir. And and then you you could have two laptops, two more laptops, free laptops with internet connection for free. Yeah. And not paying. For me, it, it could be better, especially when you are not working. Yeah. Uh, the, but um, it's it's something that you have to talk. It's something that you have to figure it out. It's a still time to do. For me, it will be better. That there is something that you had to think about and talk with them because it's it's better to save money nowadays. Yeah, but um, yeah, the the school, the public college near here are so some dangers. I, yes, but and, they are not going to school they are at home uh, actually actually the the kid the the children the, the kids it's it's uh it's going to school in the oh, public okay. public public oh, okay. school okay. but uh um i pray okay then see if, if, if they are going, i thought they will they will they are uh, still at home well yeah. it's already time nice to talk to you 
Now, okay. uh, repeat after me. The important thing is to never stop questioning. The important thing oh. is to never stop questioning. The important thing is to never stop questioning. The important thing is to never stop the questioning. Okay, uh, do you, have you ever studied a uh, philosophy? No. No? no. That, that is a young person. Because in my time, we study philosophy uh, for high school. And we also have philosophy at university. As, as a subject. Well, about philosophy, uh, the philosophers always make questions, always questioning. And that is the base for science. When you always ask why. If you remember when you were a child, well, I still, I, I am still that way. I, I, I never left the why part of my life. I always ask why. And I always want to know more. And that's what I was talking with my, uh, with my youngest son just today in the morning because uh, I love to study anything and I always learn about anything. That's why I I can talk with doctors, I can talk with lawyers, I can talk with accountants, I can talk with anybody about their field because I always I am always learning in different fields, not just one thing. And I never stop questioning. And I am already 55 years old, but I never stop questioning. And I always uh, look for more information and I always read and I always look for other things. Not only my field, which is languages, but also other fields. Because the more you know, the more you know that you don't know. The more you, you uh, think that there is more information out there and there is something that I want to know. Okay. Uh, but uh, nowadays it's, it's difficult to find that questioning thing, especially in children. They, they think they already know everything because they can Google it. But what they really keep it in their mind because have access to knowledge is not the same to know something. Okay, so never stop questioning. Now, remember that we had the prepositions of place. Have you reviewed them? Yes. Este, ¿Repasaron las, las, las prepositions of place? Yes? Yes. Okay. Downstairs, upstairs, out of the box into the box, in the box, on the box, under the box, next to, towards. Now repeat after me, down the stairs. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Up the stairs. Down the stairs. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Out of the box. Out of the box. 
Into the box. Into the box. In the box. In the box. On the box. On the box. Under the box. Under the box. Next to the box. Next to the box. Next to the box. Toward the box. Toward the box. Do you know what toward means? ¿Saben qué significa toward? Toward. Asia. 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 Toward Asia. Away from. Away from. Es, es como alejándose. Ok. O sea, por eso va la flecha hacia el otro lado. Away from. O sea, alejándose. Pass the box. Pass the box. Over the box. Over the box. Between the boxes. Between the boxes. Between the boxes. Among the boxes. Among the boxes. In front of the box. In front of the box. Behind the box. Behind the box. Onto the box. Onto the box. Si se fijan, onto the box, into the box, se parece. Con la única diferencia es que onto es como subiendo a la caja, pero quedándose encima. E into es metiéndose en la caja. ¿Ok? Así como también hay un in, que es dentro, y hay un on. Entonces, onto es como subiendo, pero quedándose sobre la caja. Sí. Into es adentro de la caja. O sea, entrando a la caja. O donde sea. Off the box. Es bajándose. ¿verdad? Off the box. Off the box. Y ese le pusieron cube, pero es box. Around the box. Around the box. Under the box. Under the box. Above the box. Above the, box. Above the box. Si se fijan, hay, hay un espacio entre la caja y, y la pelota. O sea, está así como volando, flotando encima de, ¿verdad? Entonces, digamos, algo que nos podría quedar eh, así, above us, podría ser el ceiling, o sea, el, el techo. O también si ustedes tienen foco, lámpara, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso sería above, ¿verdad? Este, below the box. Below the box. Vale, below entonces, si se box. fijan, under es abajo, pero topando, y below es dejando espacio. Similar a como on y above, ¿verdad? On es justo sobre, pero topado en, 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 en la caja, y above es dejando espacio, ¿verdad? Eh, near the box. Near the box. Near the box es casi lo mismo que next to, ¿verdad? Es casi lo mismo. Este, pero normalmente el next to es como parado a la par, o sea, eh, a un lado, ¿verdad? Next to. En cambio, near puede ser en cualquier lugar cerca de la caja, o sea, puede ser eh, cerca enfrente, cerca atrás, cerca a un lado o cerca al otro. O sea, near puede ser en cualquier lugar cercano. En cambio, next to es ya sea a la izquierda o a la derecha. ¿Ok? Teacher, excuse me. Behind Diga. es atrás. Behind oh, es atrás. Costado. Behind es atrás. atrás. Ajá. In front of es enfrente. In front of es enfrente. Y behind es atrás. Okay. Okay. Dígame. Y under, under the box. Under es abajo, pero como topadito. Así como on es sobre, under es abajo, pero topado. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Okay. O sea, okay. en el caso aquí, por ejemplo, the ball is on the box. ¿Sí? Pero podría decir the box is under the ball. En el mismo. 
¿Sí? Entonces, este, eh, sí, en, la, en la misma foto podría decir, the ball is on the box, y puedo decir, the box is under the ball. Ajá. Sí, es que le, le preguntaba porque hay dos under. Está under the box, este, ajá, ese, y el que está señalando con el puntero, y está otro más abajo que está, que dice under the box también. Ah, la, sí, 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 sí. Pero eh, aquí, este, yo creo que lo que quisieron dar a entender ellos es que a, así como el under puede ser como over, o sea, pasando, ¿verdad? O puede ser eh, estático. Porque, por ejemplo, aquí uh -huh. over es como saltando encima de la caja. Y aquí este under que han puesto ellos aquí, por eso va como con una flecha, ¿verdad? Entonces puede ser tanto estático como Ajá. pasando. Pasando. Ah, Ajá. Ok, ok. Ok. Sí. sí, claro. Pero siempre es lo mismo, ¿verdad? O sea, siempre es debajo. Debajo. Ok, ok. Bien. Entonces, ahora, estábamos viendo también there is, que dijeron, dijimos que era hay, y there hay, que también hay, ¿verdad? Pero there is es para singular o para más nouns, y there are es para plural, ¿verdad? One es uno, any es alguno, y son es algunos, ¿verdad? Este, les había dicho que any se ocupa para preguntas y para negativos, y son se ocupa para preguntas y para afirmativos, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, hoy vamos a... Bueno, pero te quiero ver. Este, vamos a ver. Eso es lo que les había dejado este mapita que les dije que lo, que lo estudiaran. Y ahorita vamos al knowledge check. Bien, lo vamos a acercar. Entonces, este es el mismo mapita que, que les había dejado, pero aquí lo podemos hacer más grandecito y se puede ver mejor, ¿verdad? Entonces, hoy vamos a ver qué es lo que hay y a dónde. A ver, a, the public library, ¿verdad? public library. ¿Qué me puede decir del public library? ¿Cómo se llama esta calle? Main Street. Main Street. Main, Main, Main Street. Street. Entonces, where is the public library? It is on Main Street. On Main Street. Next Main to the gas Street. station. Perdón. Next to the gas, ex, gas next, station. Next to the gas station on Main Street. On Main Street. Si sí, esta es. La calle principal, ¿verdad? Main Street. And it is next to the gas station. Okay. Now, what can you tell me about the gas station? It's next to the public library and... In front of the shopping center. In front of the, in front of the shopping center. Okay. Okay, now, it, what's this? What's the name of this? First Avenue. Avenue. First Avenue. Avenue. Okay, then the First National Bank is on? First, First Avenue. Avenue. First Avenue. Avenue. Okay, and In what from... is this street? Pine Street. Pine Street. Pine Street, okay. 
Uh, what is next to the first national bank? Price, 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 price grocery store. Princess, the Princess, Princess Grocery Store. Okay, and what is across from the First National Bank? Kim, Kim, Plaza, Kim Plaza, Hotel. Plaza Hotel. Kim Plaza Hotel. And what's the name of the avenue where the Kim Plaza Hotel is? Maple Avenue. Maple Avenue and What's the street? Elm Street. Elm Street. Elm Street. Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Now, next. This one. This is Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Okay. And what we have beside or next to Jamison Hotel. Rosa's Rosa's restaurant. Okay. And what's uh, what's among uh, Main Street, Second Avenue, Pine Street, and First Avenue. The park. The park. park. The park. Okay. The park is among First Avenue, Main Street, Second Avenue, and Pine Street. Okay. Avenue. Okay. And what's across? from the park on Main Street. The post office. The post office. The post office. The post office. And what's next to the post office? Joyce James. Joyce, Joyce Jim. Okay. And what's behind the post office? Electronics. 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 The electronics, okay. Electronics. Uh, what's what's on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue? Mom and Pop's groceries. Mom and Pop's groceries. Mom and Pop's groceries. Okay. And, Pop and what's across from Mom and Pop's grocery on Main Street? Across from? All days, department, department store. Department store. Department, department, store. department store. store. Okay. Department store. What is between mom and pop's grocery and top's shoes? Parker's drugstore. Drug store. Parker's drugstore. Parker's drugstore. Okay. We already have seen all the map. Ya vimos todo el mapa. Entonces ahora. Como ya vimos el mapa, ¿verdad? Se puede leer mejor aquí. Entonces, este, vamos a... Espérense. Voy a llevar este para acá. Después lo voy a bajar. Y se mira mejor eso. Bien. Entonces, ahora dice... Aquí dice, is there, tenemos que ver por qué está preguntando. O sea, tenemos que buscar por qué está preguntando. Near here, y le dicen, yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm Street en Maple Avenue. Entonces, vamos a irnos. A Elm Street es esta. Maple Avenue es esta. Entonces, ¿por qué estarán preguntando? Vamos a buscar. O sea, aquí en Elm Street y Maple Avenue, ¿qué podemos encontrar? King eh, Plaza Hotel. Hotel. Plaza Hotel. King Plaza Hotel. King Plaza Hotel. King Plaza Hotel. Rosa's Restaurant. And También el Rosa's Restaurant y el Frank Café, ¿verdad? Eh, no, a, ambas no. cosas pueden, pueden, pueden quedar ahí. Quedar pero, pero vamos a ver cuáles son las opciones. Entonces, pregunta por Library, Hotel, and Park. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? Hotel. 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 
Okay. <coughs> ¿Verdad? Entonces, este... Y, y, y también hay otros más allá, ¿verdad? Pero como que le dan regalías por decir el, el King Plaza. <ríe> Yo hubiera dicho, hay dos. There are two on Elm Street. O sea, hay dos en Elm Street. Uno es el Jameson y el otro es el King, ¿verdad? Ambos son hoteles. Pero este es más luxury que este, ¿verdad? Bien. Is there a uh, around here? Yes, there's one. It is next to Princess Grocery Store. Well, Princess Grocery Store. Es este. ¿De ¿Por qué están preguntando? ¿Qué es lo que First está? National Bank. First National Bank. Bank. First National Bank. First National Bank. Entonces, vamos a ver. Yes, ahí está. Bank. Ok. Now, is there a near here? Yes, there is. There is one on Main Street behind Parker's yes, Drugstore. Parker's Drugstore. Parker's Drugstore. Behind. Department Store. Department Store. Department Store. Department Store. A ver. Okay, department store. <clears throat> now, is there on Pine Avenue? No, there isn't, but there is one on First the Avenue and Main Street. Main Street. First Excuse Avenue, Avenue, Main Street. Main Street. Podría ser el post office. Post office. Podría ser la gas station. Gas station. Sí, vamos a ver cuál, por qué están preguntando. Gas station. Gas station. Ok. Now, are there on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Vale, vamos a ver Pine Street. Entonces... Aquí está el grocery store. Y aquí está este grocery también. Entonces, podría ser que fue a grocery stores. Sí, aquí está. Grocery stores. Are there, are there grocery stores on Main Street? Now, is near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and Oday's department store. A ver, o de ese department Joyce store, Jim. post office. A Jim. Joyce, Jim. O sea, sería Jim. Jim. Ok. Is there a on Second Avenue? No, there is. A. There is one on First. Aquí le falta una R. First Avenue across from the shopping center. Across from the shopping center. First Avenue, First Avenue, across from the shopping center, electronics, okay? Electronics. Electronics. Electronics store, okay? Now. Is there a around here? Yes, there is. There is one on the corner of Main Street and First yes. Avenue. Corner. Payphone. The telephone. The payphone. Okay. Main Street, First Avenue. Okay. Payphone. Ya eso ya, ya no existe, en verdad. Is there a near here? Yes, there is. Yes, there's one next to a gas station. Gas station. A library. Library. 
Okay. Now, are there any on First Avenue? No, there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. A ver, ¿qué es lo que no hay en First Avenue que sí hay en Maple Street? First Avenue is Maple Street. Uh, eh, y aquí se equivocaron. Pusieron Maple Street y es Maple Avenue. Restaurant. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ve, aquí acuérdese que no es Street, sino que Avenue. Bien, entonces ahí están las respuestas. ¿Le gustó? Yes. yes. Excelente. Estaba, yes. estaba bonito, ¿verdad? Buscar, buscar. Y, y es una forma de utilizar las prepositions of place. ¿Verdad? Eh, este, eh, si nos queda tiempo, vamos a hacer preguntas entre nosotros más tarde. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si nos queda tiempo. A ver. In this session, participants will follow a conversation about a neighborhood, taking into account questions like how many, how much, with quantifiers. Okay. Este, acordémonos que how many va a ser para count nouns y how much va a ser para mass nouns. ¿Verdad? Now, uh, follow the reading, please. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hey, hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. <laughs> Did you understand that? Yes. She's, yeah. just, she's just saying that it is pretty safe, that there are, is not much crime around. But her car alarm is sounding. Okay. So she is. Hearing her car alarm. I hope it's not a robbery. Okay. Now, any questions about vocabulary? Pregunta sobre vocabulario? Teacher, in the second. Perdón. Eh, decía, eh, crime es, significa es much, hay mucho delincuencia o muy peligroso. En la otra. En este. Is there much crime? Sí, sí hay mucho crimen. Uh -huh. Is there much crime? Es como uh -huh. crimen. Es crimen. Muy peligroso, no sé. crimen. Sí, pero, crimen. pero peligroso sería danger. Pero danger. ahí está hablando crime. 
Okay. Y crímenes, crímenes, acuérdense que crímenes es cualquier cosa que esté fuera de lo que es la, la ley. ¿Verdad? Entonces puede ser robos, pueden ser asaltos, oh, bueno, pueden asaltos. ser este, eh, rentear a la gente, ¿verdad? Todo es todo, todo lo que esté afuera de la sí. ley es, es crime. Sí. Teacher, y, y en ese sí. caso la respuesta que dice, no, it's pretty safe. Eh, está, diciendo es? que, está diciendo que está diciendo que no hay que no hay mucho crimen que sí. es bastante sí. seguro, ¿verdad? Pero inmediatamente le dice, espera, está sonando mi, mi, la alarma de mi carro. Te voy a llamar más tarde. Sí, claro. <ríe> Tenía que ir a verificar si no le estaban robando el carro. <ríe> Pero a, a, ahí Priri se, se ocupa, no, no, como no, no se utiliza como normalmente lo ocupamos nosotros, de bonito. No. ¿Cómo? no. En es... este caso, en este caso significa bastante. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Think. ok. Eso es lo que tiene el inglés, que no siempre las cosas significan eh, lo que nosotros decimos que significa, ¿verdad? Este, algunas veces están usados de una forma y otras veces están usados de otra. Entonces, eh, por eso uno tiene que... Este, eh, no dejarse llevar por, por tratar de traducir palabra por palabra, sino que el concepto, ¿verdad? Vale, entonces... Sí, y, pronunciation de... ¿De cuál? Eh, la palabra... En la otra estaba también. ¿En esta? ¿De cuál? No, en la, en la otra presentación. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, ahí está. La pronunciación de, de I'll call, así es, I'll be, o cómo es, después de la palabra alarm. I'll, 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 I'll call, I'll, I'll, o sea, I will, I'll call I will you back, es I will, I'll, I'll call you back later, I'll, I'll, I'll. Uh -huh. I'll call you back I. later. I'll. O sea, es de I, como yo. Will, I'll. I'll call you back later. I'll. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Se animan ya? Uh, ¿Voluntarios? Me, teacher. Ok. Yeah, yeah. Eh, eh, levanten la mano para que les pueda nombrar. Eh, Rafael Antonio y Zulba Beatriz. Okay. Rafael es Nick. Empieza Rafael. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. 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 Mm -hmm. downtown, downtown? Is there much nice? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot of. In fact, there, there's an, an excellent Korean place. Just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is wow. there much crime? No, no, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, thank you. Now, Arnulfo Mengibar and Manuel Orellana. Okay. How, how do you like your new apartment? 
I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Convenient. Downtown. Convenient. Convenient. Okay. Downtown. Is there much noise? Oh no, there is. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean play just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is, is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, thank you very much. Eh, los que van pasando, bajan la manita para que no me confunda. And now, Manuel Aristides and Rosa Aide. Okay. How do you like? No, How Manuel va primero. Manuel okay. va primero. Okay. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love, I love it. It doesn't so it's very convenient. 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 Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there is there is any. I live on the fifth floor. Floor. How much? How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much cream? No, it is dirty. So, Call on that my car alarm. Eh, Tichi, disculpe, ¿cómo se pronuncia acá después de alarm? Aro. Aro. I'll call you back late. Okay. Now, um, find. Find a place. Repeat, find a place. Ambos, repita. Find a place. Find a place. Find a place. Okay. Crime. 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 Okay. Crime. Is there much crime? Okay. Thank you. Eh, lo que ya pasaron, bajan la manita, por favor. Este. Marvin Joseph and Alejandra Elizabeth. Marvin, you first. Young Nick. Perdón. A young Nick. Nick and Pam. O sea, yo comienzo con I am Nick. Pam. Sí, sí, yo le dije, you are first. And you are Nick. How do you like your new apartment? Sí, I know it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much snow? Hello? Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh. Yeah. Yo creo que se le va el sonido oh, a ella. No. There uh -huh. isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Uh -huh. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What the park? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. 
is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Sarai Esther. Uh, any other volunteer? Algún otro voluntario? Okay. Alberto Me Navarrete. Did. Okay, Alberto Navarrete. Alberto, you go first and then Sarai. Okay. Uh, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very com convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I lie on the fixed floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot of if fat there an excellent Kore Korean place just around the corner. Uh, what about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, please repeat. I live. I live. I live. I live. I live. And find a place. Find a place. Find a place. Okay. Thank you very much. Bien. Entonces, now. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers and give out answers. Okay. Los quantifiers son esos de a, any, some, okay, a lot, a few, many, none. Now, for count nouns, for count nouns, repeat after me, a lot. A lot. A few. A few. A few. Many. 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 Any. Any. None. 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 Are there many restaurants? Are there Are many there restaurants? Many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, yes there, there are, are, a lot. are a lot. Yes, there are a few. Yes, yes there, there are, are a few. few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. No, there are none. No, there are none. Okay. Este, estos son para count nouns. Now, non count nouns or mass nouns. Se reconocen como non count now o como más now. Entonces, is there much crime? Is there much crime? Is there much crime? Yes, there is a lot. Yes, there is a lot. Yes, there is a little. Yes, there is a little. A little. No, there isn't much. No, no, there isn't, there much. isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, no there, there isn't, isn't any. Many. No, there's none. No, there's none. There's none. Okay. Este... 
How many restaurants are there? How many how restaurants, many restaurants, restaurants, are, restaurants are, are there? How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. There are there 10 are or 12. 12. 12. 12. How much crime is there? How much how crime much is, is there? there? There's a lot of street crime. There's a lot of crime. Now, uh, repeat after me. Mm, uh, calm down. Calm down. quantifiers. Calm down quantifiers. A lot. A lot. A few. A few. Many. 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 Any. Any. None. None. Okay. None count quantifiers. None count quantifiers. A lot. A lot. A lot. A little. A little. Much. 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 Any. Any. None. 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 Eh, si se fijan tanto any como none. Puede ser utilizado y a lot también. A lot. Puede ser utilizado tanto como count nouns, como quantifiers de count nouns, como non count quantifiers. O sea, a lot, any y none. Pueden ser utilizados tanto con los count nouns como con los más nouns. Entonces, eso nos deja menos que aprendernos, ¿verdad? Porque entonces ya solo queda a few y many y a little y much. Entonces, a few, unos cuantos, ¿verdad? A little es poco, many son muchos y much es mucho. O sea, many, muchos, Much, mucho. Acuérdense que los count nouns van a ser plurales o singulares. Y los non count nouns este, son así como por volumen, ¿verdad? No, no son, y se manejan como que fueran singulares. Ok. Entonces, hasta ahí llegamos, pero todavía nos quedan nueve minutos. Así que nos vamos a ir a lo que les dije de la este, presentación de esta. Entonces, este vaya, entre ustedes. Este, tienen ahí sus, sus, su WhatsApp a mano. Hello. Yes. Vaya, entonces este les mando. Ah, no, si ya tienen, ya tienen el dibujito, ¿verdad? Se lo mandé en el. Pero igual, se lo voy a mandar ahorita. Este. Se lo voy a mandar al WhatsApp. Para que este, entre ustedes, vamos a hacer un break room. Nos vamos a ir a, a que entre ustedes se, se pregunten sobre ubicaciones. O lo hacemos aquí en general. En general. En general. Vale, ya se los mandé para que lo tengan. En general. Ya se los mandé para que lo tengan. Este, y entonces, este, digamos, ahorita, igual así como con los diálogos, van a, a ser voluntarios y van a preguntar sobre las cosas que hay aquí y que dónde las pueden encontrar. Así como, como aquí en, en, 
este, están viendo lo, lo que tengo en la pantalla, donde dice, eh, is there in the reason? ¿Sí? Sí. Vale, entonces, entre ustedes, eh, volunt los voluntarios, ¿verdad? Hay dos voluntarios. Vaya, don Francisco Sánchez, ¿con quién? ¿Quién se anima? Vaya, lo voy a hacer yo con usted, don Francisco, nadie se anima. Entonces, pregúnteme, pregúnteme. Sería, eh, is, is, there, there, a, ¿Is there a gym near here? Yes, there is one on Main Street. Across from the park. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Vale, entonces usted escoja quién más. Tenemos seis minutos todavía. Silvia. Ajá, Silvia. Pregúntele usted a Silvia sobre algún lugar. Eh, is there a bank near, near here? Maya Silvia, dígale dónde está el banco. Silvia. Ana Silvia de Flores. Hello. Ajá. Dígale al compañero dónde está el banco. Uh, is in front of across King Plaza Hotel. Across from King Plaza Hotel. Ok. Eh, dígale el, el nombre de la calle. On, um, on Pine Street. On Pine Street. Ok, thank you very much. Escoja usted a quién preguntarle. Alberto Navarrete. Alberto Navarrete, vaya y pregúntele por cualquier cosa de las que hay aquí. Um, where is electronics? Is there any electronics? Is there is any there electronics, electronics around here? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. There is uh, behind um, ah, on, on, on First Avenue. First Avenue. And behind uh, the, the no, post no, no. In office. Front, uh -huh, the post office. Yes. Behind the post office. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. Other one? Otro? Hello? Escójalo. Ah, ok, ok. Um, uh, Zulma. Zulma. Ajá, ok. Zulma. Pregúntele, pues. Um, Is there... Is there, is there Joy's gym? Is there any, any gym around here? O puede preguntarle, where is Joy's gym? Where, where is Joy's gym? Entonces usted le va a contestar, it is on... Uh, it is on uh, Main Street, between... Across from the park, between uh, in the post office and on the department store. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Bueno, este, alguien más quiere seguir practicando? No. Bien. Entonces creo que con esto nos despedimos, verdad? See you tomorrow. Sigan practicando, este, así los los diferentes localizaciones, ¿verdad?
porque eso es importante y lo están haciendo bastante bien. Ok. Take okay. care. Take care. See care you. Tonight. Thank you very Good much. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.